professor in the Group of College. Welcome on behalf of GuruKPO.com. Today I am going to uh, deliver my lecture on functions. What are functions? How we categorize these functions and when we use these functions. First, uh, if I say function, it is a set of independent statements which are used when we are needed and it is used whenever we need again and again. So, what is the benefits of using function? Function, it is a modular approach in which we schedule uh, our modules, different different types of modules and then use these modules again and again for the programming. Uh, function is defined, uh, we can say function is broadly categorized in two parts, library function and user defined function. Library function also called standard inbuilt function and user defined functions are self-contained function. Library functions are like printf, scanf, sqrt. These are functions that are stored in the C library and C++ library function. Okay, user defined function are the self contained function which are defined by the user uh, like addition, multiplication in which we define the different type of modules which we want to work in a part of module. Second, uh, secondly, if I say what are the benefits of function, benefits of the function, function first benefit is that it is easier to use, second it makes uh, easier our program which is complex and lengthy, uh, we can use reusability co uh, concept by the function and we can make easier our program. Second one, uh, if I talk about the syntax, syntax of this uh, function is written type, function name and argument list. That is written type is the written type if our function is returning integer value, float value that is the written type, function name and argument which are passing to the function. These are the can be actual parameter and the formal parameters. Then function body and written type. If our function have written type then we define written type in the function written 0 or integer value whichever, whichever one it. If it is void, there is no written type, then we there is no need to write written type. Second, if we categorize our function, the function categorized in the four parts. First one, function with no argument, no written value. In this function type, we have no argument list and no written value. That means the argument list is void and written type is also void. Second one, function with argument and no written value. In which the function written type is also void, but we have argument list and calculate that and use them. Third one is function with no argument and written value. In this type of function, we pass the argument, uh, we don't pass the argument list and use written type. That means our function is calculating something part and return a particular value that uh, value that can be integer, float, or double, and anything else. Third, fourth one is function with argument and written value. In this type of function, we pass the argument list with this, this can be 2, 3, more than 3 argument list and written value. That means we pass uh, some arguments and perform calculation, perform functioning and return the value for the further use after that. For more detail, you can log on to www.gurukpo.com. Thank you. Thank you.